before we get drilled down into Oklahoma local news, I just wanted to mention, I mean, I didn't watch it, but Anna, I think you, you said you, you did, but uh, the January 6th hearings uh, have begun. You know, prominent Senate candidates like Jackson Lemire are still trying to pretend like, you know, it was a bunch of tourists at the Capitol. I think if you watch five minutes of the video, like, ain't any tourist I ever seen. So, uh, you know, whatever. Yeah, what what were your takeaways, reacts? So, like, obviously, you know, the panel or the committee didn't say anything about Antifa. Like, Antifa wasn't there. They weren't the ones behind this, even though that was sort of, like, what was being put in the air at the time. It was, like, it wasn't actually MAGA people. Like, it was Antifa. Like, they were the ones who started it. No, the Proud Boys and the Oath Keepers did this shit. Why don't you back up your own things that you did? Why are you so scared? Take credit for what you did. You stormed the Capitol. Why are you trying to say that it was somebody else? And not to mention, they had a bit where um, during the witness testimony, they had people that they had actually already charged um, with certain um, crimes during the insurrection. And most of them got like 36 months of probation. And like, I'm not for, you know, incarcerating people. But if you can storm our capital and like only get 36 months probation, why did we get shot at and rubbed? with rubber bullets and tear gas when we got on the highway, but these people were able to make it completely inside the building and only one person on that side or only a couple people lost their lives. It's just like, I mean, t- I mean Prater wanted to charge a young person with terrorism right. for throwing a rock as they were walking by the bombing memorial. Like, and even the executive director went on the news the next day and was like, you know, that wasn't cool, but like people are upset, you know, they're just blowing off steam. Like, it's not that big a deal. And he was, like, ready to, like, throw the full force of the law and, like, incarcerate this person in jail for tossing a rock at the memorial. I mean, it's totally unhinged, like, how different we treat the right and the left in this country or just people who are protesting for legitimate things like police violence versus people who are protesting for illegitimate things like a election that was definitely not stolen. And then they got to a part where they were, you know, they had testimony from White House staff, which it's like, can you really call them White House staff? It's really just Trump's family. Like, it's <laughs> like it's your daughter's husband and your daughter. Like, these, you didn't fucking hire these people. You just yeah. put them in these positions of power because you wanted to be as corrupt as possible. Everyone was talking about Liz Cheney's glasses. I think they're nice. I think the main thing is that it just matched her outfit perfectly, but... She did a really good job. So did Mr. Thompson. Like, um, Gotta have the fashion take. He said Trump's name like 130 times, I think, was the total count after that CBS cave as soon as it was over. Trump, but, Trump, 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 Trump. Yeah. These oh, guys- yeah. I did watch a video, and I did like this. The committee painted Pence as an unlikely hero. So I watched a video where it was saying that um, – Trump was overheard in the White House, like, saying, like, you know, hearing that they were saying, hang Mike Pence. And he was like, well, you know, maybe maybe he deserves that. <laughs> like, well, your vice president like, who r- ride or died for you for four years. It's like, nah, maybe he deserved to be hanged. I don't know. Like, I'm just like, shouldn't they be going even harder about this? Right? I mean. Like, you had a shit ton of white supremacists show up to your building and then try and murder all of you. Right. Like yeah. bring out Pelosi, hang Mike Pence. Like, yeah, yeah. And these people are just getting probation. It's They're like you were threatening probation. to kill the vice president of the United States. That will show them. Like if, 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 that was me, if that was me, they would have been like, Tasneem's a terrorist. We have to deport him and put yeah, him in the You would be on place. the fastest. Where the fuck is Guantanamo Bay for the white supremacists? Right. Yeah, that's insane. It's just Wasn't totally... it some candidate for Michigan governor was um, charged with involvement in the January 6th events? I'm pretty sure that was in the news yesterday. I can't remember. Yes, I remember you mentioning it. I didn't. I did not grab it or see it, but. But it's like, we, all these people everywhere, we know Chris West, the freaking Canadian county sheriff, was definitely there, but like, nothing's gonna happen with that. There was also a segment they kept talking about, I think it, I don't know if it was the Oath Keepers or the Proud Boys or a different group, but they used a military style tactic to get into the Capitol. They, I think it's called stacking or something, where mm-hmm. they all stayed in a very close line, super tightly packed to one another, so they could just like, 
worm their way in quicker. And it's, these are people in our military. These are people who worked for our government. And like, the debauchery. I can't. It's. <laughs> the debauchery. Like, I don't know, man. Like, what? A, if this was anybody else. Anybody. 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 I saw two. Okay, I kept like looking through the video footage during the hearing, and I saw like two black people at different points in time, and I'm like, "What are you doing there? Get out!" <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, but, stop. But this is like the same criticism that the Democratic Party receives all the time, which is like everything is a half measure. Everything is just for show. Yeah. Everything is like ah, uh, this like panel, and it, again, it's like always Trump, 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 Trump. It's never like what are the actions to your consequences? Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, it's wild. I mean, so, I mean, we'll see, I, you know, with record inflation and all this other stuff going on, it's hard to see how this plays. But, like, I, I just wish they would do something, you know? I mean, just make, like, a real consequence for committing treason or threatening to commit treason or storming the United States Capitol and threatening they to kill They definitely committed people. treason. Yeah, I mean, right? I mean, threatening <laughs> to hang the governor or the vice president of the United States definitely feels like treason. They hey, brought the fucking Chief Confederate Justice, flag into the U.S. Capitol. Like, yeah, yeah, disgusting, yeah. It's, it's disgusting. Crazy. It's, crazy. it's crazy. So anyway, um, yeah, I, feel, I mean, you know, there's good summaries of it. A couple good videos out there that you can what, watch. What if, what if? And hear me out. Hear me out. Nazi deprogramming resources exist. They do. They yeah. they use them in Germany. So. Why don't we just do that here? Because as far as I'm concerned is this. If you have a political party that is okay with the fact that, like, people are just open and out and about for being white supremacists, you know, as far as I'm concerned, we should just adopt the tactics that other good governments have and outlaw them as a party. Yeah, I mean, or at least... Yeah, part of the consequence for your actions is to like, yeah, get some, get some help, you know, get some, <laughs> get some professional help because it's it's crazy, it's terrifying. Thanks for watching our video. Please give it a like and hit that subscribe button for more content. If you want to engage with us, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram.